Hello guys, in this video we'll tell you how to fix memory leaks in Windows 10 or 11. But before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit our problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Restart your PC. For this, save your any ongoing work, click on the start button and from there, click the power icon and just simply choose the restart option. Number 2. Try updating your windows. For this, press window plus I key to open the window settings. Then from there, click on update and security option and in the update and security window, click on windows update. Then click on check for updates and let windows search for any available updates and automatically install them. After the updates are installed, just simply restart the computer to apply the changes. Number 3. Update device drivers. For this, right click on the start button and from there select device manager. After this, locate and right click on each device by selecting update driver. Number 4. Identify and close memory intensive processes. For this, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape or alternatively you can also press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete and select Task Manager. Then in the Task Manager window, look for any applications that are running unnecessarily. After that, click on the application and just simply select End Task option. Number 5. Check for malware. For this, type Windows Security in the window search bar. Then from there, click on Wires and Threat Protection. Then under Current Threats, click on Quick Scan to perform a basic scan. But for a more comprehensive scan, you can also choose Full Scan. If any threats are detected, Windows Defender will provide option to remove or quarantine them. Number 6. Adjust Virtual Memory Settings. For this, open File Explorer. After this, right click on this PC, select Properties option. Then from there, click on Advanced System Settings on the left. After this, under the Advanced tab, click on Settings in the Performance section. Then navigate to the Advanced tab in the Performance Options window and click on Change under Virtual Memory. After this, make sure to uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drivers option. Then select the driver where Windows is installed. Then choose custom size and set both the initial and maximum size. A common recommendation is 1.5 times your physical RAM size. Number 7. Use the Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. For this, press the window key plus R to open the run box. Then in the run box, type mdsched.exe and press enter. After that, from there, select Restart Now and check for problems. The Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool will perform a series of tests to check your RAM for errors. This may take some time. Once the test is complete, your computer will automatically restart and the results will be displayed on the screen. Number 8. Update or uninstall problematic applications. For this, right click on the start button and from there select install that from the menu. And make sure to locate your third party security software in the list, click on it and just simply select the uninstall option. Number 9. Perform a clean boot. For this, press the window key plus R to open the run box. Then in the run box, type MSCO and FIG and press enter to open the system configuration window. And then in the system configuration window, go to the services tab. After this, make sure to check the box that says hide all Microsoft services. And from there, click the disable all button. Next, go to the startup tab and click on open task manager. And then in the task manager window, disable all the startup programs by right clicking on each entry and selecting disable option. After that, just simply close the task manager and go back to the window and click OK and then restart a computer. Number 10. Check for system file corruption. For this, search for command prompt, right click the top result and select the run as administrator option. After this, type the following commands to perform a quick fix on your PC. The command is sfc slash scan now and be patient and wait till the scanning is complete. Number 11. Adjust system settings for better performance. For this, press the window plus I key to open the window settings. Then from there, select system and under this, select power and battery option. Next, select either balanced a best performance from the drop down menu for the power mode. Number 12. Disable startup programs. For this, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open the task manager. Then from there, go to the startup tab. 
And from there, make sure to disable any third-party software that you suspect might be causing conflict with Digihue. And after that, just simply restart the computer.